I got asked this question on my YouTube channel. So I thought I'd go ahead and address this comment with the video. And by the way, this part was recorded using HiQ MP3 recorder, the full version on my Nexus 5. What do you think of the quality? All right, let's get to the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade the bootloader on the ASUS Transformer Prime from 4.2.1 to the 4.1.1 JB bootloader that came with the uh, ASUS Transformer Prime and the Jelly Bean update. So we have did an Android backup of the current Harry Bean 2.2 because uh, we're going to be installing Harry Bean 2.3. But I wanted to go ahead and show you the whole process going from 4.2.1 to 4.1.1. For those of you that are, you know, maybe you don't like Carry Bean or you're wanting to try another ROM that requires the 4.1.1 bootloader. So it, we backed up our ROM with an Android backup onto the micro SD card that's on the side here that you can't see. And our apps are currently being backed up to the external SD card because uh, the internal storage is going to get wiped when we flash this 100% stock ROM from ASUS while we're in custom recovery. So you'll want to make sure that you back up, make sure that uh, what I did was I went to Titanium Backup. I pressed backup on like one single app and then I closed Titanium Backup. I went to the built-in file manager on the Prime and then I moved that entire Titanium Backup folder that was on my internal storage onto the external storage. I went to turn to Titania Backup, I hit the little menu button up here, Preferences, Backup Folder Location, I hit Detect or Scan Whole uh, Device, and then it, it found the micro SD card, I pressed on it, pressed OK, went back, and from then on out, everything will be stored on the external storage instead of the internal storage on the Transformer Prime. So we're just gonna wait for this to finish, and then we're gonna go into custom recovery, we're going to flash the 4.1.1 downgraded bootloader, and then we're going to flash the stock ROM. After we flash the stock ROM, we're not going to have root, we're not going to have custom recovery, we're going to be 100% stock from ASUS. So we're going to need to go back into fast boot, hook the device up to the computer, and we're going to need to uh, flash over the twerp recovery and then flash the Super SU. Alternatively, you, once you go back to 100% stock, you can enable developer options, run Moto Chopper, and have root, but you won't have a custom recovery. But once you have root, you can go to Google Twerp TF201, and they have install instructions on how to do it from Terminal Emulator. And that's how I usually install Twerp Recovery uh, through Terminal Emulator while I'm in Android. It's just easier than hooking your Transfer Prime up to your computer. All right, so we're done. We're gonna go ahead and turn the device off. Sometimes I get comments of people saying, God, he talks too effing much. But I just try to explain everything thoroughly and get my point across and not, not leave anything out. So we're gonna hold the volume down on the power button until we see RCK. And then we're gonna press volume up. And in a second, it should take us, yep, into the custom team win recovery built by the Android root team. So anyways, I'm going to go install, and I'm going to choose external SD, and you'll see the uh, downgrade Harry Bean 4.1 bootloader in recovery. We're going to go ahead and install that. And then I'm going to choose reboot system. And it should take us back into Twerp Recover or into, see, wait, you got to wait for the little bar to fill up. That means that the 4.1.1 bootloader is being installed, uh, as far as I'm aware. It should take us back into Twerp Recovery once this is done. Then we didn't have the 4.1.1 bootloader, and from there you still have custom recovery. So all you've got to do is flash a stock rooted ROM. I'm choosing to go 100% stock. That's my choice. You don't have to. It's up to you. If you're not comfortable with hooking your transfer prime up to your computer and flashing custom recovery through fast boot, then you might want to choose one of the uh, stock 4.1.1 rooted ROMs available on XDA forums. And if, if you're curious, I do have a video showing how to root and install custom recovery on the 4.1.1 bootloader with the Jelly Bean update. So it says right there, formatting internal storage. So keep in mind that you are going to lose everything during this process and you're going to lose everything whenever you flash the uh, 4.1 official ROM from ASUS as well. So that's why we're storing all our Titania backup stuff and our Android backup. All of that's on this external storage 
because it's not going to touch that at all. All right, as you can see, it took us right back to our uh, Torp Recovery. And uh, so from here, all we're going to do is press Install. And then we're going to go to External Storage, and we're going to choose the um, US EPAD User 104218 zip. And we're going to flash that. And uh, basically when you Google ASUS TF201, you, you find the uh, the Transform Prime. You go to support. You click download. You choose Android. And then like the top link has the link to the uh, US EPAD user 104218 zip. It's like 300 and something megabytes, I believe. And inside that zip is another zip. You need to take that zip out of there with like 7-zip, for example, and drag that to your desktop and then put that on your micro SD card. All of this is stuff I did in my video on how to root um, Jelly Bean 4.1.1 and install custom recovery. So after this, we're not gonna have custom recovery. We're not gonna have root, anything like that. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna cut the video once it's done, show you that it reboots in the stock Android. I'm gonna go flash 2600 via fastboot and then I'm gonna install Harry Bean 2.3 and make that video. So this is something normal with twerp, it automatically turns the screen off after so long just to save battery life and to prevent burn in on some devices that have that. So we're done, we're gonna choose reboot system and I can tell you right now, it says no OS installed, just go ahead and ignore that. Just, just ignore it, it's not true, you do have an OS installed. So, and this is gonna take a little while. <laughs> this takes a good minute. This is also something else that you see in my how to install customer recovery and root Jelly Bean on the Transformer Prime. All right, looks like that little bar is full. And now we should see the little Asus thing and with it spinning and we should be good to go. We should have um, a 100% stock Transformer Prime on the very latest official 4.1.1 update from Asus that they freaking over a year old. They have not given us 4.2. It's why Harry Bean's a pretty awesome ROM, and it's what I've been using, and I'll continue to use even after I do this video. <laughs> I'm just doing this so I can show people how to downgrade if they want to, because um, on my official install video, I want to show people how to go from the 4.1.1 bootloader to Harry Bean, which requires the 4.2.1 bootloader. So, yeah, I mean, that's a mouthful, I know. All right, here we go. <laughs> Welcome, and... We should be already this little air. Sorry, the lights are so bright, it's hard to see. Connect to my network, hit connect, and then it's gonna ask us if we have a Google account. I'm gonna go ahead and hit no for now. I am central time. None of this matters because I'm gonna install Harry Bean 2.3. I'm just uh, there we go. Hit the little arrow. No, I do not have Google. No, I do not want Google. Um, just get past these screens, set up complete. There we go. Uh, let's I'll open the app drawer just to prove to you. There's no root. There is nothing at all. One page of apps and that's, that's it. That's no super user. Nothing. Our our internal storage is completely wiped. There's nothing in here. But on our SD card, sorry, our removable SD card, there's all our titanium backups and everything. So I'm going to hook this up to the computer and I'm going to go install custom recovery. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If this video helped you out or if you just enjoyed it, period, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe for many more videos. I am upgrading to the Transformer Pad Infinity when that comes out and I'm pretty freaking excited about it. So please subscribe or you'll seriously miss out on a lot of awesome videos and tons of unboxings and how to root and etc. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out. I had to go ahead and use my zoom for this part because it don't feel that my Nexus 5 recorded that well with HiQ. Anyways, I recently unboxed the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. So if you want to see those two videos, I'll try to link to them in the description below. Or you can just go to my uploads and search WWJoshEW, Xbox, or PlayStation. Also in the description, 
There's links to my Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, my gaming channel where I upload Call of Duty, Battlefield, uh, just anything gaming related, and my second channel where I upload videos for my phone. In the description, you'll see a part that says show more. Please click that and you'll be able to expand the description and see all the links because there are several of them.